Welcome to NTC Reviews. Today I'm going to be talking about this 10 DBI external antenna that I picked up from a company called Proxycast. The reason I picked up this antenna is to maximize my HNT earnings on the Helium Network. If you're not familiar with the Helium Network, definitely take a look at my in-depth video that I made and you can find that now by clicking on the link in the top right. I had received my Helium Hotspot. I hooked it up and configured it to the network, had the hotspot running, checked everything as far as performance for a few days, was definitely mining some HNT rewards, but I noticed that I wasn't really getting out there and being able to witness uh, some of these challenges, which is where the bigger money or the bigger portion in earnings come in for HNT rewards. Being a ham radio operator, I knew the importance of a good antenna, did a little bit of research on the Helium Network, came across this proxy cast antenna, decided to pick it up and give it a try. If you want to know more about the results that I got, stay posted. As I was using my Helium hotspot right out of the box with the standard antenna, I was able to compete in challenges and even witness challenges that were occurring in distant spots across the internet. But when it came time to witnessing the challenges that were occurring, let's say via radio frequency, where my hotspot was talking to another hotspot in the vicinity, which in return earns much more percentage of HNT rewards, nothing was happening. Those challenges weren't taking place. I had a few hotspots that were in my area, but still far enough where the standard antenna wasn't reaching them. Once my Proxycast antenna came in and I was able to get it mounted and get it attached in place where I needed it to be placed, everything started to change as far as the challenges that I was able to witness now, as well as earning more HNT rewards. The most convenient place for me to mount the external antenna at the time was on top of my garage. It had a very good line of sight, pretty good clearance, so I decided to give it a try and mount it there. Additional components that were required to get this antenna mounted correctly were, of course, to get this mount. I ordered coax cable with an end connector to an SMA connector so that it could connect to the hotspot. I ordered 10 gauge grounding wire and, of course, a clamp to be able to connect it to my grounding rod. I'll go ahead and place links to all of these individual components if you are interested, and I will place them in my blog post, so be sure to check out that blog post, and I will place the link in the comments field below. I've had the antenna mounted for a couple weeks now, and the difference has been huge. Not only, of course, in the actual challenges that I'm able to witness because of my antenna as far as local challenges, but there was also a substantial difference in the HNT rewards that I was earning, and it's all thanks to this antenna. It went from a point where I wasn't able to reach anyone in my vicinity, installed this proxy cast antenna, and now I'm witnessing events that are 27 kilometers away and further. To me, that's pretty impressive and certainly worth the investment. So bottom line, if you're thinking of getting an external antenna to be able to increase your potential earnings on the Helium network and just overall efficiency, especially if you choose to use the long fi technology for your own personal trackers in your area definitely take a look at this proxy cast antenna judging by my calculations in less than two weeks earning hnt rewards this antenna will easily pay for itself